pay attention, rebel. Boy, that woke me up, and I still remember the sting of that ruler on my wrist when I got caught not paying attention. You know, we're taught to pay attention from our earliest days. The challenge is we're taught to pay attention to the wrong things for the right reasons, but still, we are taught to focus on our mistakes, our failures, the bad things, and we replay them in vivid detail. Not to mention paying attention to the potential bad things and threats, conjuring all the angles. Wow, if he does this, then I have to do this. And what happens if this happens? And oh my God, what happens if this happens? And if this happens? And oh my God, right? Aren't those 2 a.m. sessions just <laughs> magical? We all have them. The problem is we're trained to worry. And on top of that, our minds are fundamentally wired to worry. You see, we're designed to seek out and pay attention to threats above all else. That was nature's way of protecting us in the time of cave people. Our minds are designed to automatically do that. The challenge is it really gets in the way in modern times, especially because we have a threat every minute or a perceived threat for our unconscious mind. It really messes up our modern world. And now modern science has shown us why it's such a problem. You see, our attention creates hidden expectations. And our expectations predefine what we will select as our experience. Let me say that again because it's really important. Your attention creates expectations in your mind. And those expectations are used by your mind to filter and select what you experience every moment of every day. With all that worry, it's no wonder we live self-fulfilling prophecies that are way less than what we ever dreamed. I mean, we've learned not to expect that our businesses will thrive in difficult times, so they don't excel during chaos. We've learned to sell ourselves short and focus on what's wrong, so our careers and our lives lag behind our dreams, and we beat ourselves up for it. Now, I learned the science about the power of attention during a really got a horrifying traumatic time in my life. I just left a really heartbreaking relationship and I had PTSD and I went into therapy and I recovered memories of childhood abuse that can only be called torture. Um, by the time I'd spent two years in that modern therapy for PTSD, I was powerless. I couldn't get out of my house. I couldn't get myself, I couldn't do anything. And I honestly didn't know how or even if I'd survive. And that's when I went on a journey, looking for answers about what made me tick and what makes us all tick. What I found, the power of attention, saved my life, and it transformed my world. And that's why I'm here sharing it with you. For anyone who is truly ready to step into the power of your mind to become unstoppable, I'm here. It's your choice. You can harness the power of your mind or you can decide to continue to worry. But if you choose to be unstoppable, check out the information on the site and reach out to me for a conversation. I love hearing your stories. In the meantime, remember one thing. Pay attention to your attention.